This is Tommy from Carrera Castings. Today in Best Practices, we're featuring CAD file maintenance. In today's episode, we're checking for naked edges and dirty files. What are naked edges and dirty files? Well, let's look into that. Naked edges is when two surfaces have not been joined together and create a non-watertight object. Let me show you. If we have a rectangle, you will notice that each of these edges have been stitched or joined together. If we remove one of these uh, surfaces, let's just go to solids and extract the surface. You'll notice I have my Rhino file set up to show me whenever there's a naked edge, meaning that if I pick this now and move it, that surface stays behind. So what happens if there was water in here and we turned it upside down, that water's coming out. That is not a watertight solid. A naked edge represents a non-watertight solid. That is important for you to understand because there's no continuity when you create an STL file. So what happens is the machine or any program, you might even go into an animation program or anything like that, will not know how to join these two surfaces together or a single edge. It also represents there might be a problem or something you forgot while you were creating your file. Let me show you. We have our what not to do file open here. And this looks fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to analyze this ring. We're going to pick it and in Rhino we go to our analyze tab, scroll down and let's see and go to show edges to see if everything is watertight or if there are any open edges or non-manifold edges. Okay, so if we go to just naked edges, you'll notice it's telling me, even though we're looking at it, that it has 40 naked edges. If I go to export this now, there's gonna be a pop-up telling me that this is an open object, a non-watertight object. Also, if I ungroup this, as we learned before, I'm going to find out that one of my struts here that supported the top has actually completely opened. It is just a poly surface, but, a not, but not a solid poly surface. These are things that you must watch out for when you're doing your work, because as you export this, it will bring in problems down the line. The other thing you have to worry about are dirty files. What is a dirty file? When you're doing something simple, usually a dirty file doesn't happen. It's when you're doing something this complicated and you have to clip this and chop this up that leaves little pieces of debris behind that are really not visible. And what happens is when you go to pick your ring or whatever part you're doing to export it as an STL, it brings it with them. So now existing inside of your watertight solid are parts that have no meaning. So the machine is going to try to build everything, even what's in there, and you get a part that you don't understand what happened. So let me show you exactly what dirty parts are. If you pick everything like this, just go across, you're picking little parts, and here they are, that are just in there from clipping things and chopping things and trimming and splitting that haven't been deleted from your file and some of them will exist inside. A best practice is when you're going to export a file to just pick one side, one part of it. See this is our bad file so when we pick nothing is booleaned. We have coplanar services which is no good. So that's another reason why you should boolean and get rid of your coplanar services because this forces us to pick everything all at once which forces us to pick even the little parts we have left behind. So let me just close this to show you. Now on the screen, basically you see nothing, but if I do a sweep like this across, you'll notice that my gumball highlights, meaning it's picked parts. I'm going to zoom in on them. I'm gonna pick one and zoom in on it. There is a surface. It is so small, literally while you're working, you're not gonna see it. But as far as the computer's concerned or, or any of the machines, it's an object to be dealt with. If we measure it from this end, oh, there we go, from this end to this end, 
This is only 0.017 of a millimeter. Now you're thinking, well, what big deal is it? It's so small. Again, you're dealing with mathematics. You're dealing with things that are super accurate, especially the solid machines. So when you pick this and it's floating around in your part, it will cause problems. So make sure that your file is boolean together into a watertight solid, no naked edges, and that you've cleaned up your file by picking your solid, meaning if we had, where are we? Wow, this is so small. There it is. So if we were going to export this ring, I would pick it at the edge, and since everything is boolean together, I would hide it, sweep across, press delete, and now my file is nice and clean. So when I pick this for STLing, I won't have any problems. In summary, we covered naked edges cause non-watertight solids, bits and pieces left behind will create dirty files, which causes bad parts and bad castings. Hope you enjoyed this segment and stay with us. There are more best practice videos in CAD and 3D printing for jewelry manufacturing to come.